Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Vicky's Daily Stand Up. <laughs> you leverage LinkedIn to expand your network and to push your brand as a developer and also help you to find a job. I meant to share with you guys a long time ago and it's mostly highly requested. LinkedIn is the one and only platforms that employers are looking into when they are trying to get to know you as a potential employee. Very crucial number one tip is you got to have a picture. It's not that people are trying to judge you based on like how you look, but it's important to have a picture out there so then people know that you're real. There's so many like spams and weird things that are going on, like automated bots that's happening on social media that it's important for you to have your social presence. Have a nice headshot photo on LinkedIn. Fill out all the information that kind of give um, people who are visiting your profile an idea of your past work experience, um, organizations, nonprofit organizations, things that you've done in the past that are either tech related or not tech related. Basically just giving the employers an idea that you can communicate and you are not a psychopath. You are a normal human being that is not socially awkward and you can communicate and you can work. You do not have a LinkedIn, I want you to stop this video right now and go create an account. The second thing that I'm about to tell you is actually um, something that I need to walk you through on my laptop. So I am going to I am going to open my laptop. So within this page of the companies, there's two things you need to pay attention to. The first thing is you'll see how many employees are total on LinkedIn and who are these people within your connections are working for LinkedIn. So this is quite important if you already have friends or people that are you know within the network on LinkedIn that are already working there, I would recommend to go directly to messaging them and try to come up with some compelling um, reasons that you think um, it might be interesting for them to give you a referral. One of the ways to find this is go to jobs. You would be able to see all these jobs that are relating in the company and these are the people that are working for this company. It sounds like I'm such a stalker but it really does help to um, reach out to people outside of your network. There are employees that they are recommending this job or people that has like either second or first connections to you. Um, I usually find that when you're reaching out to companies um, like Datadog or even bigger companies, it's a little bit harder to reach out to software engineers within that company if you don't know them, just because they rarely are checking on LinkedIn or sometimes um, they're just not up to date with their LinkedIn, if, especially when they're happy with their job. So the first thing that I would do is actually look for the jobs that I'm interested in. For instance, if I'm interested in this web ops engineer position, I wanted to click and find out what this job is about. Um, usually I'll tell you the requirements and some key points. Don't let this part scares you. It's not a checklist. It's more like, hey, these are the things that we want our candidates to have or their quali these are the qualifications, but it's cool that if you are having that kind of experience, if you have years of experience and you think that you can offer to the table, don't let that hesitate you to not to apply. You want to stand out and the way that you can stand out is actually going to their official website. So what I would do is copy and paste just like a good developers do and look for that particular posting. Um, so I can see that actual link on their official website um, and then I'll check to make sure this is the position um, that I'm applying for and I want to apply directly on their website and there's a few reasons for that first of all um, it makes you stand out to the HR that you are care enough to check on their website applying for it so it's super important to do that extra steps because that really helps you to kind of just stand out a little bit more amongst all these other applicants that were applying for jobs 
So fill out all this information and after you fill this out, um, you can just click submit your application. Now the tricky part goes back to LinkedIn. Once you apply for this job, what I would do is usually I would remember where this link is and then once I apply for this position, what I would do is I'll go back to the jobs and I would actually look for the people. So what you can do now is find one. Um, it's very important to find just one technical recruiter because you don't want it to overlapping and spamming everyone. So if you find one of the technical recruiters, if they are not within your network, um, you can click connect and it will ask you to customize your invitation. And what I usually do is I would add a note and here for the message, this is where you're gonna send them a very personal note. Um, nothing that's longer than you know 100 to 200 words. Uh, you want it to be very specific and I want to narrow down to probably three sentences and also attach maybe the job posting to them. Um, usually tell them the reasons why you think you're a good fit for this position or why you should connect with them and learn more about the engineering at Datadoc. And this tip is super golden good. It's so good. This is basically how I would use or leverage LinkedIn to kind of expand your network. Even they didn't get to reply to your message, they might actually accept your invitation. So they might actually end up become part of your network. Step number three is to be active on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a social media platform. It's mean to be communicating with people, connecting with people. So it's important for you to uh, connect with people. When you see interesting articles, share them. Be socially active on internet. Actively commenting on other people's content. Um, share your thoughts and ideas. Those are some really good, solid um, tips that I would give you. If you are comfortable in front of the camera, that's great. And if you like to talk about tech in front of the camera, you can absolutely do the same thing that I do. Um, but if you are not comfortable like that, you can also creating articles. That could be another way for you to share your expertise and for you to um, kind of make you stand out from the other candidates when you are job searching, when you are job hunting. So um, that is it. For all the tips and tricks that I will share with you guys, um, like this video, share this video with someone else if you find this super interesting. And last but not least, if you have not yet subscribed, turn the bell notification button on, please do that, okay? Stop poking me with your mouse because it's not, not funny on my face. Um, anywho, I hope that you are enjoying this video. Give me a thumbs up, share this with someone. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. I also got this like glasses the other day from my mom. Um, she was super concerned with me in New York. Goggle, which I thought was really, really funny, but I am, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of fun and it's kind of like cool, I think. Um, anywho, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.